Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received a written letter from the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, which included an invitation to the concluding ceremony of the King Abdulaziz Camel Festival held under the patronage of the custodian of the two holy mosques in Riyadh. The letter was delivered to His Majesty by the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia to Bahrain, Dr Abdullah bin Abdul Malik Al Al Sheikh. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation to the Saudi monarch for the invitation, which reflects the depth of brotherly and historic relations between the two kingdoms, stressing his pride in the advanced level of joint cooperation and coordination that benefits both people. His Majesty the King also expressed appreciation to the honourable stances of the custodian of the two holy mosques towards Bahrain and its people, and his efforts in strengthening Bahraini-Saudi relations. His Majesty noted the success of the King Abdulaziz Camel Festival, noting its cultural and historical significance and its traditional activities that aim to strengthen Saudi and Arab heritage and consolidate authentic original national values. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gadebia Palace, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Royal Highness has affirmed that development in Bahrain has become a priority in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and is witnessing rapid developments thanks to the policies and programmes of the government, which reflected the development of all sectors that support economy and development, including the oil industry sector. They noted the government's continuation in adopting initiatives that support the economic system and strengthen various sectors. The Royal Highnesses commended the contribution of the national cadres and their pioneering achievements, which place Bahrain in the ranks of developed countries in terms of keeping pace with global developments in various fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired the Cabinet's weekly meeting in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Gadebia Palace today. Following the meeting, the Secretary General of the Cabinet, Dr Yasser bin Isa Al Nasser, delivered the following statement. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister praised the Bahrain Refinery Modernisation Project, which he recently laid the foundation of in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, noting the role of the project in promoting the efforts of developing the oil sector and expanding the Kingdom's resources, as well as creating investment opportunities. His Royal Highness directed the identification of the main service needs of villages to programme them into the developmental government service programmes. He also directed the increase of housing units for the residents of Citra by implementing more housing projects. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the delivery of 500 housing unit keys to the beneficiaries of East Hid housing project. His Royal Highness or also ordered the follow-up of the service needs of the village of Jedal Hajj, the development of its services and facilities, and assigned this task to the Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning and the Ministry of Housing. The Cabinet also expressed sincere condolences to Ethiopia's government and its people and the victims of the tragic crash of the Ethiopian Airlines plane recently. The Cabinet discussed a draft law on volunteering for public security service and submitted it to the Ministry of Interior. 
The law allows the Ministry to accept volunteers to work for public security services according to the conditions set by the draft law. The Cabinet approved an amendment of the model regulations for the main system in clubs, authorities and youth centres. The amendment stipulates that the periodic meetings of the Board of Directors should be at least four times a year in all clubs, centres and youth authorities under the supervision of the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs or whatever necessary. The Cabinet also approved two draft laws issued by the Ministry of Youth and Sports in that regard. The Cabinet approved the designation of the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority to assume all tasks related to the registration of domain names and the collection of fees under the supervision and monitoring of the relevant Minister. The ban on food imports from Japan following its issuance as a result of the Fukushima nuclear incident in 2011 have been lifted. The Cabinet also approved the Kingdom's ratification of amending the Organisation of Islamic Cooperation Charter, which aims to increase Islamic summit sessions to review major issues and keep pace with global developments. The Cabinet also approved the Kingdom's joining of the Organisation of Islamic Cooperation's Agreement on Immunities and Privileges. The ratification of the agreement on air services between Bahrain and Brazil has been approved. The renewal of the Memorandum of Understanding between the Education and Training Authority and the Scottish Qualifications Framework has been approved. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gadebia Palace the Ambassador of the United States to the Kingdom, Justin Sibiru, where they discussed the friendly relations and cooperation between the two countries and means of enhancing them in various fields, in addition to regional and international developments. His Royal Highness affirmed that bilateral relations politically and economically have become stronger due to the cooperation of the American administration under the chairmanship of President Donald Trump, who embodies in his effective policies the American role in supporting allies and friends. The ambassador conveyed to His Royal Highness the greetings of the US President and the appreciation of his government. His Royal Highness praised the development of cooperation between Bahrain and the US and the keenness of both countries to consolidate bilateral cooperation to serve both joint interests and benefit both people. His Royal Highness added that Bahrain and the US are connected by close historic ties in the light of the keenness of the two countries to further develop these relations to reflect the size of the strategic alliance between them. His Royal Highness noted the role of the US in promoting peace, safety and stability in the world and its potential to influence international decision making. The Prime Minister affirmed that the region's challenges require more joint action among allied and friendly countries and taking initiatives to ensure security and stability of the region for strategic importance at the global level. For his part, the Ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for supporting and enhancing relations between the two countries healing the efforts of the Kingdom in supporting efforts to spread peace, security and stability regionally and internationally. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Honorary President of the Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation, the BMMAF, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today the trainers who successfully passed the National Course for Boxing Trainers, organised by BMMAF, in cooperation with Cobra Sports Club. Also present were the General Secretary of the BMMAF, Wali Kayat Sayar, and Chief Executive Officer of Brave, Mohammed Shahid. BMMAF Director Mohammed Ali Gamba and Khalid bin Hamad Boxing Team Trainer Tom Davies. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed aspiration to achieve the goal of the Kingdom's qualification to the Tokyo Olympics in 2020, which will contribute to raising the Kingdom's status in global sports through boxing. His Highness congratulated the trainers on the success affirming that their accreditation as technical cadres to lead the team comes in light of His Highness's vision to develop Bahraini boxing sport through qualifying national cadres and exhorting Bahraini youth to practice the sport. For his part, the General Secretary of the BMMAF hailed His Highness's reception of the trainers, which will motivate them to achieve the goals of His Highness's vision to develop Bahraini boxing sport. He added that the BMMAF, led by Khaled Abdulaziz Akhayat, are following the directors of His Highness to implement a developmental vision that will make continuous achievements for the sport.
under the patronage of First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the concluding ceremony of the Bahrain Robotics Festival 2019 was held yesterday at the People of Determination Association Hall. The event, organised by the Ministry of Education, took place on the 9th and 10th of March with the participation of a big number of students from public and private schools. Marking the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid said that the festival enhanced the culture of creativity and innovation of the education process, as reflected in the development of the learning outcomes through encouraging the Bahraini youth to showcase their potentials, improve their knowledge and communication skills. His Highness Sheikh Khalid added that these scientific events held in the Kingdom have positive reflections on the advanced level of the educational movement that contributed in developing Bahrain which celebrates in 2019 the 100 years since the beginning of formal education in the Kingdom with the opening of the first school, Ahadaya al Khalifiya School in Maharak in 1919. His Highness also praised the sincere efforts exerted by the Ministry of Education in implementing programmes that target developing the learning outcomes. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated the winning team in the festival, wishing the other participants best of luck in the next events. Addressing the ceremony, under Secretary for Education and Curriculum in the Ministry of Education, Dr. Fawzi Abdurrahman al Jarda, welcomed His Highness Sheikh Khalid and the attendees, expressing his pride in the support provided to the Bahraini youth by His Highness in all fields, especially in creativity and technology. He asserted that His Highness's support reflects his keen interest in implementing the directives of His Majesty, King Hamid bin Isa al Khalifa, in developing the education sector in the Kingdom. After that, His Highness Sheikh Khalid honoured the strategic partner of the festival, Tam Keen, for its support and contributions. Then, His Highness honoured the winning teams. At the end of the ceremony, the Under Secretary for Education and Curriculum at the Ministry of Education presented to His Highness Sheikh Khalid a commemorative gift and pictures were taken. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Al Saleh received the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and Parliament of First Minister Ghanim bin Fadl Al Buenin, who delivered the State Budget Project's draft law for the fiscal years 2019 to 2020. Shura Council Chairman affirmed the Council's dedication towards speeding the completion process of the State Budget Project in cooperation with the Representatives Council and the Government. He noted that the completion process guarantees the continuity of vital projects and is in line with the direction of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He also noted that the Executive Legislative Cooperation guarantees the proper production of the law in order to achieve the goals of the two authorities, which considers the citizen a top priority and goes in line with the Kingdom's economic vision 2030. He asserted that the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee is keen on producing an acceptable, precise formula that satisfies all parties. Southern Governor His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa yesterday visited parts of the Governorate and inspected progress of work and service projects. He followed up the implementation of a string of projects based on citizens' visions and proposals in West Reefa to meet their needs and future social development and security aspirations. 
His Highness Sheikh Khalifa was accompanied by the Southern Municipality Director General, Asim bin Abdul Latif, and his sister under secretary at the Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning, Asma Murat Jazim. Also present were West Reefa Police Station Chief, Lieutenant Colonel Sheikh Salman bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, BACA, Museums and Antiquities Director, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and other officials. The National Bureau for Revenue, the NBR, held a VAT workshop for professionals working in the logistics and transportation sector, during which the NBR recapped general and sector-specific VAT concepts, including invoicing and filing. Following a question and answer session, 70 representatives from 41 enterprises were given the opportunity to visit the unique innovative interactive demo centre that provides innovative learning experiences to ensure effective implementation of VAT. Today's workshop is a continuation of a series of workshops organised by the NBR to provide an inclusive platform for all stakeholders from the public and private sectors to ensure the smooth registration of companies with an annual supply of 500,000 Bahraini dinars to 5 million Bahraini dinars by June. The 9th Annual Middle East Vice Primut 2019 closing ceremony took place under the auspices of Bahrain Chamber of Dispute Resolution, Commercial Law Development Programme of the US Department of Commerce, International Court of Arbitration, the Royal University for Women, MENA Chambers Bahrain and United Nations UNCTRAL in the presence of American Ambassador to Bahrain, Justin Sibiril, to prepare the next generation of competent international commercial arbitrators. The ninth annual Middle East Vis Primote closes after bringing together 15 teams, consisting of over 90 students from Afghanistan, Bahrain, Burma, Egypt, Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, Sri Lanka, Tunisia and the United Arab Emirates for extensive clinical training in oral advocacy, as well as simulated commercial arbitrations. Parties will look at uh, uh, the quality of the education in any country before they enter this country to have their arbitration because this is the base that you will create a strong uh, judiciary, uh, a strong adv uh, 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 advocacy, lawyers and arbitrators. So the future begin here. The program consisted of three days of training and two days of competition. The training was conducted by former Vismut mentors and a faculty from the Center of International Legal Studies, University of Pittsburgh. Additionally, the competition was arbitrated by over 70 legal practitioners from across the globe. Teams from around the world to come to Bahrain for its ninth year to compete and learn how to become the next generation of legal experts in arbitration and to represent their countries in front of the international competition in Vienna and Hong Kong. And this night was a magical night because we opened our doors to teams outside the Middle East to include Afghanistan, Sri Lanka and Myanmar. The ceremony concluded by honoring the winners. Best team went to Colombo University from Sri Lanka and runner-up to Colombian Royal Institute also from Sri Lanka. Best Prosecutor's Award went to Dar al-Hikmah University from Saudi Arabia. And it's a deep honor and a deep privilege as the envoy of Sri Lanka just to see a Sri Lankan, Sri Lankan team winning uh, uh, the highly competitive, highly contested uh, arbitration competition in Bahrain. BCDR announced that with the Middle East Primut reaching its 10th anniversary next year, they launched Bahrain Youth Dispute Resolution Tribunal to sustain their mission in empowering future international commercial arbitrators and thriving regional and international arbitration network. With the theme empowering champions to lead this year, the 9th annual Middle East Vispri Mood 2019 continues to support law school teams in their journey to present their country's international arbitration capacity to the world. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffour.